how to spell check subtitles, edit subtitles, and correct your subtitles. What's up guys, Alec here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit your subtitles. So let's say you have a subtitle file already created as an SRT file, and you want to make some changes to that SRT file, or you might want to automatically generate subtitles using Veed's online video editor, and then you want to go through and edit the timings and text for each subtitle. Well, in this video, I'm going to dive deep down into editing and correcting your subtitles. And with that being said, let's get started. So like I mentioned, the tool we're going to be using is called Veed, which is an online video editor you can either head over to google and google veed or if not as usual the links are going to be in the description down below so once you're on veed the first step is to click on the new project button in the top right and then once we're within veed's video editor here we want to click on upload the files to upload the video that we want to correct the subtitles for so here i'm going to select the video click on open as you can see, it's now imported into Veed. And if I click play. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media podcast. As you can see, we have our video. Now to spell check our subtitles and correct them. First, we need to upload our subtitle file. So to do this, we click on the subtitle tab. And then here we can click on upload subtitle file. If you don't have a subtitle file to upload, you can automatically generate subtitles for your video and then go through the exact same process. So if I click on upload subtitle file, here I'm going to select my SRT file, which stands for Subrip Subtitle File, that contains my subtitles for this video. So if I click on Open, as we can now see, it's imported my subtitles. And as we can see in the bottom right here, we have my subtitles in the timeline. On the left, we have all my subtitles in the subtitle editor, and then we have them on the actual video canvas. Okay, so now that we've automatically generated subtitles for our video, now we're going to spell check them. So basically, we're just gonna watch the whole video through, look out for mistakes, and when we come across a mistake, we're gonna fix it. We can correct the text or the timing for each subtitle. So the very first thing I'm going to do is just play it back from the beginning, and then slowly, one by one, just check each and every subtitle and make sure I'm happy with the text and timing. So if I click play, Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the Social Media Podcast. I'm your host, Al Okay, so first of all, there's two mistakes. The first one is the everyone at the beginning. It should say, hey everyone. So if I select it within the subtitle editor in the text box, I can edit it as if it was normal text anywhere else. So if I type out, hey everyone, it makes the changes in real time on the actual video canvas. And I'm gonna add a comma. And then also I need to make sure that I change the time for this subtitle. So as you can see in the timeline, there's a bit of a gap because it doesn't start from zero seconds. In the subtitle editor, we can actually see that it starts from 0.2 and this specific subtitle ends at 0.6. So if I place my playhead at 0.6, as you can see, this is where it ends. So to change this, there's a few different ways. First of all, I can either click and drag it straight within the actual timeline. If I'm not happy doing it that way and I want to be more precise, I can place my playhead exactly where I want it to begin and then click on the beginning stopwatch or I could just manually enter the specific time that I want the subtitle to begin at straight from within the subtitle box in the subtitle editor. Now, once I'm happy with the time, I'm going to continue and keep playing through. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the Social Media Podcast. I'm your host. Okay, here it says I'm your host Alex, even though my name is Alec, this was generated by YouTube's automatic closed captions. Now if I click play again to continue through. I'm your host Alec, and in this podcast we're going to be talking about everything and anything related to social Okay, so here we have three subtitles, and I think that they play through too fast because they're too short. For example, it says, and in this podcast we're, and I think this should be one sentence. So in the subtitle editor, I'm going to cut this text right here and paste it into the previous one. And then I'm also going to check the time for this one, copy it and paste it into here and then just delete the empty one. So now, host Alec, and in this podcast, we're going to be talking about everything and anything related to social media. So get comfortable, grab. Okay, here I need to adjust the time. So I'm just gonna click and drag it till it matches the following one and then press play. Social media, so get comfortable. Okay, I need to adjust it. So when it says, so get comfortable. Social media. Right here. So it's actually, it should have been the other way around. So I click and drag this one to about here. And then click this one to here. And then if I press play. Everything and anything related to social media. So get comfortable, grab your favorite drink, and let's get started. And then the very last one, as you can see, it's got the word started on its own. So again, I'm just going to copy or cut and paste this. And then do the same thing with the actual time. And paste it right here. Delete the last one. And there we go. So now if I press play media, so get comfortable, grab your favorite drink and let's get started. Hey everyone. Okay, that looks pretty good. I might just drag it out so it lasts for the entire video, just like that. And then I also want to mention that there's a split subtitle tool. For an example, if you have a caption and you think it's too long, let's say I want to split this last one into two different subtitles. If I press play. So get comfortable. So get comfortable. After get comfortable, I want to split it. If I split right here, 
Okay, I did it a bit too early. So if I click undo, move this a bit further, and then click split. So now I've got so get comfortable by itself. Media. So get comfortable, grab your favorite drink, and let's get started. So now that you've gone through your video, spell check your subtitles and corrected the mistakes that needed to be corrected, all you have to do now is download them as an SRT file. To do this, all we have to do back in the subtitle editor is click on the options tab. And then here at the bottom, we have the download subtitles section. We can choose the format that we want to download them as. So we're going to choose the SRT format, which is the most common closed captions format. YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn accept this format. So if I click on download, it then downloads my SRT file. Or if not, if you want to hard code them into the video, you can just click the export button in the top right. If I want to hard code my closed captions into the actual video, I can actually go into the style tab. I can change a bunch of the formatting. So I can choose a bunch of presets or I can change the font myself to a custom one. I can also change the color. However, I'll cover this more in another video. And then once I'm happy with my subtitles and I want to actually burn them into the MP4 video, all I have to do is click export in the top right and B then starts to render my video with the closed captions burnt into it and then you can download it straight to your computer. And that is how to spell check and correct your subtitles. If you have any questions about editing subtitles, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.